Hi, and welcome back again. As I was researching the backdrop for this novel, I, of course, came across a number of examples of Nazi manipulation of information in order to create a particular mindset. We call that propaganda. Um, one of the things that the Nazis did for their propaganda campaigns was create an annual rally of the party faithful in the city of Nuremberg. This rally, Nuremberg rally, took place every September. It was a week long and it was attended by hundreds of thousands thousands of people, some of them participants and others spectators. In fact, the last year that the party's um, rally in Nuremberg was held, it was attended by over one million people. That was in 1938. Um, and that actually, that rally is part of the um, story in this particular novel. One of the main characters attends that rally. The Nuremberg rally was a propaganda feast of speeches and parades and military demonstrations of might, um, songs and torchlight parades that took place not just in the stadiums, but through the city itself, through the city of Nuremberg. It's quite overwhelming to imagine this. The um, rally in 1934 was filmed called Triumph of the Will. Um, and at the time it won all kinds of awards for its unique perspective. And basically it was a propaganda feast. If you've ever been caught up in a, um, in a stadium event, um, either a sporting event or a concert or any other kind of mass gathering like that, you know how powerful it is to be with tens of thousands of other people who are all like-minded. Now amplify that over the course of an entire day instead of just a few hours and amplify that over the course of a week and amplify that not just in a stadium but across an entire city and then put that into the radio and newsreel broadcasts for weeks and you, we might get a bit of a sense for just how powerful the propaganda around the Nuremberg rally was. Each of the days of the rally had its own theme. So there was the day of political organization. There was the day of the Reich labor service, the day of Hitler youth. There was the day of the SS and the SA, day of community and each week, each year it ended with the final day, which was the day of armed forces for military might. And each of the nights ended with these torchlight parades, which were famous for their effect on the masses of people who attended these rallies. There were live radio broadcasts during the day, each day, in addition to two hours of reports from the rally each night. Participants and spectators were urged to visit the souvenir shops, of course, and there they were given opportunities to buy photos and postcards and commemorative books and pins and badges, all of which were uh, commemorating the event, but also advancing Nazi propaganda. So I hope you come back next time and learn a little bit more about Nazi propaganda and some of the results of that propaganda. Thanks.